right, welcome to How to Break It. This is another episode of mine where we're gonna be doing some fun stuff. Today we're gonna to be putting together the Odroid Cloud Shell 2. It's an Odroid XU4 based network attached storage system, NAS. Uh, here I have two six terabyte uh, Seagate hard drives that I pulled out of some externals. Uh, we've got all the components in here. I broke a little piece off during the construction, but uh, I'm not gonna mention that during the thing. Um, overall, I'd say this is a pretty easy system to put together as long as you follow the instructions, which you can find. They don't ship with instructions, but they do have them on the Odroid Wiki, which is of course the first place that you should go to look for information for these things. Um, yeah, so basically the uh, USB 3 bus connects to this controller here, which uh, has a couple of SATA ports on the back. It ships with a 15 volt, four amp power supply. I believe it's four amp, I'll correct that if I'm wrong. Um, and overall, this is uh, hopefully an improvement over the Odroid uh, HC2, uh, which I have. I also have an HC1. Uh, both of them have proved really reliable. I really like the boards from, uh, from Hard Kernel. Um, these Odroid boards are really good. They really stand up uh, and the eight cores on this guy. Is really fun. Now we're gonna use the EMMC module and I will be setting this up as a RAID 0 striped volume. So I'm looking to get uh, two six terabyte drives turned into one 12 terabyte volume. I think that's how it works anyway. And uh, I know I'm data vulnerability, all that fun stuff. Um, but I've been assured that anything that goes on here is not mission critical. So uh, hey, stay tuned and break this thing. Here we have the casing. It's all made of this little acrylic. We've got some goodies in here that we're going to want to take care of. A fan to keep it cool and of course our power supply. So step number one, we're going to clear our workspace up a little and we're going to take the plastic pieces off of here, the plastic protection. All right, just for the record, when I threw that to the garbage, I missed. So now we have the fun task of figuring out which piece is which. But now that we have all of the plastic protection off of here, let's see what we have in this little bag. All right, here we have a little board the fan gender, it says. I'm guessing if that goes on. I'll figure that out. All right, here we have a super speed USB connector. That will be interesting to use later. A ribbon cable. A lovely assortment of screws, more plastic protection, and another bag of goodies that we have in here. This is the bread and butter. This is our screen, I believe our controller. All right, we have this little tab here that we can use. We can pull that off. I'm going to leave that on for now. Wow, this is quite an interesting little piece, isn't it? So the ribbon cable connector goes in here. Interesting. This is an interesting setup. I may have to look up a little bit because this is my first time putting this together. Now, something else I wanted to mention is that you don't need to use uh, such big three and a half inch hard drives. Uh, if you wanted to go with even faster storage, you could use something like a little SSD. Uh, you would just need a little mounting bracket like this so that you could plug it in and get it about the, the same size. But I'm not going to be going with SSDs because I'm looking for uh, quite uh, a lot of storage and I don't have any bigger SSDs. It's two six uh, terabyte drives. We're actually going to strike these and turn them into one 12 terabyte volume. 
but uh, you can absolutely use SSDs for this setup. So the next step is to figure out what pieces you need to put together. This doesn't come with instructions, so we're going to have some fun. Take these pieces here, and move this stuff out of the way a little bit. So where does all of this go? I apologize for the noise, but I'm in Mexico City. There's just no getting around it. So do we connect? drives to the controller first like this we just go with one of them for now that's plugged in that looks much nicer is that the way it's supposed to go I don't know we'll find out no it's not because we have the little hole here so, we need the other piece, this, these little holes here, that way we can access the power, and this is how that goes in, alright, pour our little screws out here, we have to figure out which ones go where. Like I said, this is my first time putting this together. I'm using these screws here to screw into the drive. We will see if that's the right move later on, I suppose. Kind of like a Sudoku. All right, I'm going to screw also this little board in here. This one feels about right. Doodly doodly do. Alright. Now you don't want to over tighten them because again this is acrylic and if you over tighten acrylic it's going to snap. Okay. Oh we missed a plastic piece. Let's make sure to pull that off. This way. That sure looks right. Okay. Now we have a bit of an issue because I do not know which part goes next. drive mounted so we just want to slide in there like that all right that's looking good Take it back over here I'm going to finally plug that in since I know where that goes now we have this Ribbon cable. Oh dear. Oh dear. Where does it go? There it goes. It goes up here. Okay. I'm not sure exactly quite where that goes just yet. Just great. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. Look at this. It's going to plug in here to our GPIO on our Odroid XU4. You'll see there's a little notch. Maybe it's a little hard to see. But there's a little notch on one side and the other side is completely flat so this can only go in the one way but i'm not sure we're at that step just yet next we want to make sure we have the current limiter installed for the fan it basically just makes it spin a little slower a little quieter it's not going to make a lot of noise or a lot of fuss and we're going to attach the fan to this back plate here now if you take a look on the side of the fan it's a little difficult to see here, but it gives you a direction. It shows you which direction the blade spins and which way the airflow goes. We're going to want the air being pulled out so that we can bring cool air in through the other side. So, just like that. For this, we're going to use the big hefty screws, these ones here. 
typical ones that you would see when installing a fan, either in a case or anywhere else for that matter. Make sure to check the edges for a wiggle because that might cause a little bit of extra noise that you don't want. All right, next we take this little piece here that has our current loader. And we're going to want to put that right over here. that one fan spot. And now this should go very easily right into these little spots in the back, in and down. There. Now that's nice and set up there. Alright, so for the next step we're going to want to take the Odroid XU4. I have the active one with the fan. And we're going to want to put it here on the little board, although what you want to be aware of is that uh, if you want to use the EMMC memory, which is what I'll be using here, I have a 16 gig EMMC card, you're going to want to write the operating system to this before you put this on here because underneath it's not accessible. Steve, are you sure you're using your brain? I made a little bit of a mistake, so with this piece here. Remember how I said you want to make sure you got your EMMC memory in there? Well, I kind of screwed up. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take this piece apart, flip it around, and then we're gonna have the uh, the desired result with access to the EMMC memory slot. So the moral of the story here to check everything before you put it together. Yes, this is probably a little big, but it's the first thing I saw, so it's the first thing I grabbed. That makes a lot more sense. You can see EMMC slot right there, we can access it nice and freely while having the ports hanging the way they should. Now let's put this beast back together. Okay, maybe it's a little snug. This USB connector here has to go up and to that. This will be not that difficult. All right, we'll lift it up. Fix that into there. This is going to come down in front. I'm let this hang there loosely for a moment. Slip this piece. 
piece. That is not how that is supposed to go. So, let's try this again. Now for this little key, I'm going to actually back off one of these screws here for the fan. This will just help lock it all in place. I'm going to slide this guy back in here. Put this key down right in there. should be able to screw this right back in, nice and snug. And that is how that's done. There you have it. If you followed the instructions, well, you followed along with me, did the, looked at the wiki, all that fun stuff, then uh, you'd have yourself uh, a fully assembled Odroid Cloud Shell 2 with an Odroid XU4 as the heart uh, and soul of this guy. Um, whether you used SSDs or hard drives doesn't really matter. Um, there's a couple of switches on the front that we're gonna configure to uh, determine the type of RAID. And in the next video, we're gonna go over the software setup with the Ubuntu Minimal uh, image. And uh, that's gonna be its own video, so I'm gonna put that together. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, it's, it's appreciated. Um, Like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, tell your friends. Um, this is what it's all about, the community getting together, putting stuff together, talking about it, having fun. And uh, I'll do a video for uh, the software side of it, getting it all up and running and configured. And then we're uh, probably gonna do another video for uh, performance compared to the HC1, HC2, and maybe even some other single board computers or the Pi 3B Plus, I got a Rock 64. These are all fun. I really like these small computers. So anyways, uh, I'm Steve from How to Break It. I'm a jackass that's normally breaking this stuff. Thanks for watching. <laughs>